Alright, so we're back once again, and I figured I like the mod that I downloaded called A Madman's Purpose. And I am going to go through this whole mod because it is hilarious. And I'm going to go through the second mod the person made. So, I've got to upload these so I don't have to worry about them that much. Because while I'm off doing school, I have to worry about uploading something. Now we gotta go back to uh, the strip in order to uh, how was it? Get the sonic emitter. I should have figured that old world blues weapons would be useful here. Which is forcing me to go energy weapons. I don't like them, but I gotta, oh dear lord, Dr. Disaster. Yeah, and I only have these with guns. They're not fun to use. So I've got to go all the way back in order to get new ones. Which should be relatively easy. Just hoping no more lobotomites spawn because they are difficult buggers that I do not like. I don't think they're going to respawn. Which is honestly good to know. Yeah, they haven't respond. Where's the marker? There it is. I right, good after this. We'll just teleport to this man has a glass door. It's made like concrete, though. Man's got a glass concrete door. My man, right? My man is defending himself in style. Yet looks, yet. My man is defending himself with style, yet safety. I, I, I wish I could be that man who had a house like that. But then again, what am I? I'm just the career who lives in a ginormous tower on the strip. Where are these enemies? Is it a gecko or something? Where are you, mate? Get further away. Can I teleport, please? Come on, let me teleport, game. Is, am I asking you for too much? Okay, good. I'm not asking you too much right now. You know, eventually I will, but I'm not asking you too much right now. That's all that is important. Just ignore this mysterious man coming through the gates. Definitely hasn't committed many war crimes. I'm not. I'm. I'm not saying I have. I'm not saying I haven't. But he might have. Big brain. Ah, uh, the strip. Where I can pull my gun out at will and nobody dis disrespects me. Says so this is your Now I have to show you this. You hold this just like the Ranger Sequoia. It's basically the Ranger Sequoia, except the Ranger Sequoia is longer and doesn't have a scope on it. So when you think about it, you have the Ranger Sequoia, except it's not called the Ranger Sequoia, and it doesn't have that unique marking all over it. I only have one ranger sequoia in here. Let's see, what I'm gonna just get rid of the weapons I got. Yep, that's what I was looking for. I mean, I still got the Fallout 3 stuff on here. Where is 
is it? Ranger Sopoya. Where is it? Oh, be nice as what it is. Ah, Sonic Emitter. Yep, so you see the revolver here. Yeah. That's Q. Not, I just like finished playing Gary's Mod, so I'm used to the Gary's Mod. Well, the Ranger Sequoia. It's basically the same thing when you look at it. Because you're still holding it the same, but it's a little bit different. Yeah, I'm gonna go put these back now because I do not use these. I barely use any of the weapons I got in here. There we go. Only two weapons I'm going to use for this one is Elijah. This is Elijah's advanced and the Gabriel's admitter. Sonic emitter, Gabriel's bark. You don't see I I'm horrible with energy weapons, my character in general is. What do you see? It's going to get a little bit too tough there. Yeah, here it is. Still got it. I always keep stuff like this. Just cool to carry around a sonic emitter with you casually. Oh, I got a sonic emitter with me. What do you carry around? This, uh, this pistol. Ah, oh, that's weak stuff. You can't even buy this guy. Right, we got those Lorner. You got those people who play Fallout in Vegas. They're like, yeah, you can. The sink sells it. Let's see. Bulk. Yeah, I should probably use bulk. Bam. No, I, I, I wish there was practical uses for this gun for me, because I absolutely love the look of it. It's just not practical enough for me, though. And we're fighting robots and stuff, so... If I need to, I can always go get another gun, but... I think this gun is appropriate for now. No, they need me to go into the robotic place. That's why I got this. Yep. The repairs. Grab some valuable circuitry. Kill them all, and let God sort them out. They're dead. Now, that's why I got the Sonic Emitter. It just makes things easier. I made that robot there blew up before you even he even knew what happened. Ah, right, he's dead. Oh no, it's a craze. It's a cure truck. He's dead. Oh no. It's a robo sentry. Oh no, he's dead. Oh no, it's an iBot. Oh dear lord, help me. Ah. We got the iBot. Don't worry. We're all safe here for now. So I gotta defeat something else, most likely. Haha! I found you! You're still alive. Not for long. Kaboom! You are dead. 
Oh, good. I actually... Rare circuitry. I actually did need that to repair mine. Those layers, they are... They wear so easily. And it's really upsetting. It's honestly, I love I, I love the look of that. It's amazing. This thing? That looks freaking cool though. But they wear it out so easily, so what's the point of using it? Alright, what do you want me to do now, Mr. Doctor, whatever your name is? The robots are still floating, man. Time to pull out number four. Oh, dear Lord of Jesus. It's Doctor Disaster! Henchmen, you return! Do you have any good news? Yes. Yes, I do. I have the circuitry. Yes. We are getting somewhere. You have done well, my henchman. Here, have a face full of caps. Now you must go to Thompson Transmissions and find me a map of Big Mountain. That's right. It should be in the safe room at the end. Okay. I need the map so that once I get to Big Mountain, I will know exactly where to go first. Ooh, the excitement! <laughs> okay, that must have been a that must have been a really good one. Just watch out! You may encounter another scientist. Do not fear, for he is a huge wimp. <gasps> but you never know. Sometimes wimps have machine guns. Um, yeah, that is true. Once you find the map, bring it to me. Then we will go to the final step. Oh my god. Oh, that must have been a really good one. Uh, so, uh, wonderful, wonderful weather we're having. Oh, uh, what? Sorry, I didn't hear you. I was too busy thinking about Lucy. What were you saying? <laughs> of course you were. Thompson Transmissions. I gave you the key, didn't I? The door should be at the other end of the board, bunker. Thank you. See you later. Yeah. Da -de da -de da 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 other end of Boar's Bunker. It's a Boar's Bunker. Already. Well, I don't have a whip. Really thought there'd be more things to kill in this. That's what you get. Oh. Interesting. I'll take that Proton X. Thank you. You also know it. Well, alrighty. We got it to Thompson Transmissions. That's a good start. Oh, God. Robo Scorp. No. 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 Bad Scorpion. Why are you here? Dr. Morbius doesn't exist anymore. No, 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 no. Am I at... I guess once you upgrade all your gun skills, I guess these the energy weapons start to become overpowered. I did not know that. Huh. I am walking around with one here. Oh, I can't get over that. Actually, yes, I can. I'm already running, Jacob. Wee. 
Oh. Uh, we. I love jumping. I can see it's a pastime. Wait, what door am I supposed to go through now? Hmm. Looks like everything else is going good at least. Uh, am I supposed to go head over here or something? Ah. Uh, go to Thompson Transmissions. Oh dear lordy. Yep, that's the problem. It's already weird out. By the time I'm done with this mod, this weapon will be non-functional. You can see the weapon's already breaking. Alright, I, I gotta go to the Sonic Emitter. I don't need that gun completely breaking. That's one of the most valuable weapons I do have here. And that gun does more damage than any other gun I have. Which is very upsetting to figure out right now. Try to come get me. Today. No big surprise. To Dr. Casseroli's lab. Oh, hello, Casseroli. Oh, it's a cute doggy. Yes, I. Is this Dr. Casseroli? Well, what are you doing here? You can't come in here. This is my private lab. I, I, I guess it's okay. Just don't break anything or, or hurt me. D definitely don't do that. Well, why would I want to do that to you? Uh, can you help me get through that door? That door? Well, my my terminal can let you get inside, but, but I, I don't know if I can trust you with my terminal. Very understandable. Come on, Doc, you can trust me. Well, I mean, I guess I could let you use it, but first you'll have to do something for me, okay? Then, I for my latest experiment in biochemistry, I'll need a um, new propeller victory. If you can bring me one, then I know I. Okay. Here, I got a new propeller victory out of the toilet. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's that's a Nuka-Cola victory, all right. Oh, I guess I should give you the password. J -j just don't think Goodbye. Mm. All right, let's stoop around in this man's terminal. All right. Data entries, January, October. January 1st. Dear Diary. I heard a noise outside the door. It scares me. I'm not ever leaving this room as soon as I get my self-growing cord farm up and running. I'll be sent to hold up in this room and pursue my work in peace. January 12th. Dear Diary. I went outside and saw a robot, robot scorpion. I literally threw up and then ran back in my lab. I think it must be security lot of some kind. But now I know I'm never leaving. Maybe I should create my own robot to protect me. But I'm allergic to robots. What do I do? March 23rd, Dear Diary. I found a comic book under this a pile of junk in the corner. It's really neat, but super dirty, dude. 
You type into the page, I have to wash my hands. Turn the page, wash my hands. Turn the page, wash my hands. April 9th, dear diary, I'm scared. July 14th, dear diary, I could really go for a chocolate bar right now. October 14th, dear diary, I still don't know what I should be researching. I've been sitting here for like 10 months pacing around, trying to figure out what I should do with all this free time. I'd explore a bunker a bit more. One for those robot scorpions, I mean, I'd have a dark pursuit But I don't know. But I don't want to send them out to fight those things. Maybe I should build some kind of device that scares them away. Honestly, this man. This man is a wimp. At least the door is unlocked. Wow. Creator actually did reuse stuff. Gun cabinet, what's in here? Nothing related to Old War Blues. Well, I'll leave you to your whimpering and sorrow. That voice made me feel like I needed to cough up something. I've been doing that voice for a while. Luckily, I won't have to do it again. Alright, time to go see Dr. Disaster! We all love Dr. Disaster. It, it's, it's just the law. He's such a good guy. He wants to take over the moon. I, I, I honestly understand where he's coming from. The moon has all those valuable resources and the U.S. hasn't taken over the moon yet, so... Uh, what's he use for his evil things? Yeah, I, I totally side with Dr. Disaster if I needed to. So... That's good to know. I can't wait to see Dr. Disaster and Old World Blues. It's gonna be fun. Henchmen, you return! I have a map. I have a map of a big mountain! Aha! You've done it, my boy slash girl. We are one step closer. Now for the final step. The power! Aha! That's right. The transceiver is finished. But we don't have enough power to run it. But with one flick of a switch, we'll be... <laughs> oh. Energized! It's good to know. Head to Avogadro Auxiliary Power. Find the generator wheel. Flip the switch and return to me. All right, thank you, Dr. Evil. That should be easy. That should be easy. It's like there'll be a bunch of robots in there waiting to kill me or something. No, it's not possible. Robots don't want to kill me. They just want to be my friends. They're just doing their job. Uh, they don't want to kill me. Uh, auxiliary powers over here, I think. I actually never brought back a prop. I never brought back most of the blue, old world blues weapons. Brains. Oh. 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 They are here. Screwed, I'm going with the LAR. Even though it's breaking as we speak, I'm still gonna go with it. I 
guess you're going back to the hunting revolver. What you have on you? No. Yeah, punting. We're going back to the hunting revolver. And it's out of... It doesn't have any health on it. Oh, no. We're going back... We're going to something even better. No hunting revolver. We're going to BB gun, mate. We're going to use the BB gun. The most overpowered weapon in this game. Look at all the damage I'm doing. This is so amazing. I've never had a weapon this powerful in my arsenal. You get some right... You get some good place crits and... The enemy you are trying to defeat is done for. You see how powerful this thing is? It's just cutting... <laughs> Oh dear lord, that's something in my throat. It's just cutting right through their armor. I, I never expected such a thing to do it. Uh, I don't, all right, I'm, I'm tired of this stuff. Uh. Corrosted glove. I never expected in the melee till I needed to. A corrosive glove is better. Most intense combat you've ever seen. A man with his glove. I wonder what gun this man's using. He's using a trail car by Nanny. Rush gun, I mean. I keep I keep labeling those in my mind as a trail carbine. I don't understand. Why am I so effective with a trail carbine but nothing else? I'm absolutely dog shit ass. I think, excuse my language, but Ah uh, yes, the almighty lobotomites. They think they can defeat the career. Yet do they know I have a brush gun, the same weapon they do. Which makes this a whole lot harder than it should be. But I still use it. Generator room. We're almost there, folks. Please don't take this person. Oh, yeah, I will. That's enough. That, that's a reason why I brought that. Why don't you check? There you are. There you are. Are you trying to hide from me? Mate, I hope you know you're gonna get like defeated in like I'd say in the remaining shots I had left. Oh god. It's Chairman Faraday. I wonder what he was doing here. Why is there a buffalo? I'm sorry about all that recent unpleasantness. Why is there a buffalo gourd seat in there? Are you still 
Like You're that. not sorry for it. I just kicked your robot butt. Activate it. No, because I can't use any of these terminals here. Oh, final last note. Good, we can read both of those notes. Dear Dr. Clyde, you may not know me, but I'm the chairman of Area 101 facility in the Mojave Wasteland. I have recently gone. I I was originally going through standard procedures for research facilities in the southwest that you had written and I came across some particularly bizarre procedures. According to Protocol 6, in high events of nuclear war, all ranking officials are to remove their brains and place them in the body of a Rob Comark. Mark whatever brain marked, which basically consists of a tank stored, of a tank to store the brain, and three monitors that perform functions of the eyes and mouth. I guess the idea behind this is to keep the top tier officials alive so that they can outlast the war, but let me just say that there is no way in hell you are going to ever get me inside one of those things. As for as mechanically mechanical and more immortality is sounds on paper, there is no way I'm spending eternity as a brain in a floating glass orb. I would not agree to this. You would have to force me to do this, and even if I'd fight, fight you the whole time. But knowing my staff, I am sure that they will never do something as immoral as kill their employer extra and extract his brain to be placed inside a robot's body just because it's in their standard operating procedures. Hopefully this November I can come to meet you and discuss, discuss a separate, less gruesome alternative to this extreme protocol. Thank you for your time, Chairman Faraday. Oh jeez. Now that was just, I didn't turn off my fan, I just realized that's background sound. Lost, no. Dear Chairman Faraday. My team and I over in Milkman Medical would like to express our concern for the new trauma harnesses that we delivered to us just a week ago. Although we are aware that they were developed by a team over at Big Mountain who are apparently very skilled at what they do, we found that there are no several flaws to the harnesses. For one thing, the programming appears to be faulty. They're supposed to be only activated if a person wearing them has suffocated an intense amount of trauma. Really, they're only supposed to activate if there is someone inside it at all. But, just the other day, I woke to discover the Toronto Harness activated overnight, killed Henry, who was one of the new interns, forced him inside the harness and proceeded to sort through the files in the same way Henry would have. We've managed to detect the trauma harnesses took a few dozen shotgun shells, though. We're concerned that with other 12 or so harnesses in storage that this may happen again. We're only asking that you consider standing back, sending back the harnesses just in case. Thank you for your time, Chairman. Dimitri Dolan, Head of Milkman Medical. Alright, that, that... So they... T Eat someone after they kill them? That's what I'm getting here. That seems quite gruesome. The Fallout World was a messed up place.
just got to say. I don't know why I put a British accent on an American person, but I guess Fa Dr. Faraday just sounded like a British name to me. And I just stuck with the whole British thing. So, makes perfect sense. Alright, that just increased. Seems like I might finish this before I need to stop recording. Well, like a few minutes after I need to stop recording. Which is good. Henchmen, you return! Do you have any good news? What am I doing now? Go to Avagad. But I just did flip the main auxiliary parrot. Alright, let me go see over there what I need to do. I must have gotten distracted. Darn it. That's upsetting. I got distracted. There's always room for mistakes like that, though. I need to remove the fall out the frontier stuff. Why is it pointing towards that? There isn't one there. Uh, oh, it's how do you travel throughout the lab in order to find the main power switch? That makes perfect logical sense, to be honest. It really does. What proton axis? I don't of course I go the horrible choice for me. There we go. A proton X. Presently good with me like though. I don't know how I feel about this. Okay, this is strange. Huh. Who minds? Huh. There's no wall to walk through or anything. Oh, I'm a lair. Oh, good. I can, uh... There we go. Well, now I can use it again. But knowing that, that's just going to drain really quickly. Alright, so I guess I gotta jump or get across here somehow. It really doesn't seem like it's tanking I me. Mean, oh, wait, I think it is. Then how do I flip that main power switch? Oh, or is it in that room there? It's probably in that room there that I, uh... Huh. It's probably in that room there I skipped. Huh. 
Huh. So I just need to go into the generator room. This down there is a switch somewhere. Oh, there it is. There you go. Found it. That was literally the easiest thing I could have done, but I didn't do it, so it made it really hard. That basically sums up most of my life. Well, good to know. Another throwing axe. Another proton axe. Completely forgot that we are in Old World Blues territory. I like to use only Old World Blues territory items. It's fun to do that. Because you get better at some stuff. Stuff like that. I keep thinking that little terminal thing there. I keep thinking I need to go there because it's a door, but it's actually a little server. I have returned Dr. Disaster. Henchmen! The power is now on. But first, I, uh, I've got other things to do. You know, gotta get groceries and then, uh, meet a friend in Vegas. Uh, uh, anyway, thanks for your help, henchmen. I could have absolutely done it without your help, mm -hmm. but I still appreciate you nonetheless. Oh, well, thanks. As a reward, I will give you this comically large bag of caps, as well as this devastating super weapon. <laughs> kill the children with it. Oh dear lord. <laughs> Can I kill the children with it? You're a mad scientist, but have you actually created anything crazy? Well, of course. I've made plenty of disturbing abominations. Too many to count. But I'll tell you just a few for now. One time, I created a fridge that doubles as a fallout shelter. <laughs> so you can hide in it to survive a nuclear detonation. I also turned my microwave into a time machine. <laughs> That's right. I could send Pip-Boy notes back in time to myself. Convenient, huh? I also designed a robot clone of myself that can break dance. Ah, 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 ah. Uh, that's that's about all I can do, really. Still pretty cool, though. Oh, uh, there he said his most menacing invention was a faucet. But it never turns off. Alright, see you later. Now I get to do this. What a great way to end the game off. Alright, this has actually been the end of the mod. So, I will see you guys all next time. When I come back for his other crazy adventures. I will see all you guys next time. Bye!